Citizens Online is a digital inclusion and skills charity. We've been operating in the UK since 2000 um, and doing various different types of work in that time, both in communities and with organisations, helping them provide support to help people get online. It's certainly um, a truth that digital exclusion is still uh, a problem in the UK. And it was a problem before this pandemic hit, and it was a problem that was exacerbating issues around social isolation, we think, anyway. There are around about 5 million people in the UK who are offline. And uh, even when we think about it beyond the offline online question in terms of having a connection, uh, around 11 million adults uh, lack the essential digital skills that are needed to be able to effectively engage with life and work. And that's by um, the, um, the government's own definition of the essential digital skills that are needed, something called the essential digital skills framework. We also know that those who are older, um, those who are 75 up, um, disabled people are um, uh, also, and or disabled people are also at higher risk of being digitally excluded in those particular groups, a higher risk of social isolation. And um, for or of COVID-19 if they should um, uh, contract that. But the end of problem there. And what we're seeing is, of course, the increased demand and nudge towards using online during this crisis, during the, during the pandemic. The, the messaging has been going out, you know, from NHS, get your information online, go to the website. The letter that went from the Prime Minister to everybody's household, go and look at the information online. You may be entitled to new benefits that you weren't entitled to before. We've got new things to help. Those processes are online. If you're vulnerable and living in the community and you can't get to the shops, do your shopping online. The push is there. And then around reducing social isolation, of course, everything we're trying to do is about saying, well, create a WhatsApp group, maybe try Facebook for the first time. Uh, we throw telephone into the mix, of course, but there's so much push and energy towards the online world. And of course, we still have those very um, digitally disengaged or digitally marginalized groups that have a problem in accessing, that will be older, they may be disabled, they may be in rural areas where connectivity is an issue, they may be um, households with low incomes that can't afford the devices, can't afford the data packages, can't afford the broadband connection to the super fast speeds that are kind of needed to do this online transactional stuff. So the problem's there, it's definitely clear. What we're seeing as an organisation that's working in response to this is where the local organisations, the local community groups are getting together with the local authorities, the health authorities, those, those organisations and networks of people who are already linked in, we hope, with um, those people who are more isolated and more at risk of isolation. So those services exist, but they're in a new paradigm. They're in a new kind of situation where suddenly the libraries are closed. People can't come into the libraries to get digital help and support. Um, friends and family are limited from making those visits to isolated people. They may not be able to, to connect in that way. And the reliance is being pushed onto those other networks of organizations, the small voluntary sector organizations, who are doing the outreach, but maybe now what they're doing is ring around lists. Maybe that's a befriending group. Um, maybe it's um, a, a care service, a social prescribing service. Maybe it's some kind of essential housing service or other services that have got to maintain those connections that are additionally starting to ask the right questions about, are you online? Can you make that connection? Is there anything that you need that we can do to help you out? Do you need a signpost to 
the connection, the equipment? Do you need some help? Do you need some support? And what we're trying to do as an organisation, just to wrap up, is support those organisations to provide the help. So we're now uh, trying to support the digital champions out there, those workers and volunteers who are working in those community networks to help them be more confident around making those phone calls, those um, initial conversations to help people get online. It's the existing workers, the existing teams that we're trying to build capacity in and help them support those people in communities. And that's where we think the help is, is best placed. We can't just throw technology at it. We can't just say, here's hundreds of thousands of devices, off you go, we'll give you a connection. We know that doesn't solve the problem on its own. The wraparound support is absolutely essential. So we've got to find ways of supporting doing that remotely uh, and helpfully with those services and networks.